Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, and I see this also on my T-shirt, Bitcoin Didi. This was a gift of the daughter of Mario, a very good friend of mine. Uh, she has a website in the Netherlands, pinpillow.nl, and she makes all these embroidery T-shirts and products, guys. Thank you again for that T-shirt you gave me a long time ago, and I'm still wearing it now and then just to show it here. Bitcoin Didi. Now, guys, yeah, not XRP Didi. <laughs> Joke. No, sorry, I'm not talking about that one anymore. Uh, but I will tell you at the end why I need to make that video, guys. But in today's video, I have four amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, live advice, answering two questions of the followers, and yes, of course, talking about the news because this really cool new project started and it was just in the news. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts first to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. 45K, amazing day. Let's see what the charts have to say. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. That beautiful buy signal I told you about uh, in yesterday's video already is of course turning now in a massive profit, guys. We are, we're running into 45,000 uh, level resistance over there. When we break that, then that's 50K is the next target, guys. The moment you need to stake profit is when we see a sell signal or when these candles will start to close about down below the yellow stepping line. But again, guys, if you're happy with all the profit that you're in, then take profit. It's never bad to take profit. Nobody got poorer by taking profits. Now let's jump into zoomed out charts to give you again this beautiful peace of mind for the weekend. First one is this one. Here you can see that at 42K level is becoming a massive area of support. There was a lot of transactions and volume being done at that 42K level. You can see that great peak line over there. That is exactly the 42 level and that and that is showing you that there's a lot of support at that level to be falling down below it again because a lot of people bought around that level on this chart you can see the four-year offset dance with the power law low guys so these green lines the blue lines the orange line and the purple line these are the low lines as you can see we are down below the purple line finding support on that orange line now during this bull market 2024-25 we are expecting that Bitcoin price line to go and peak above that purple line. And that will be the first time we come above that line, guys. And then the bear market bottom in the next year, 2026, should be above that orange line. And that orange line is around 30K at the moment. So there's a very beautiful way to see in a zoomed out version that investing in Bitcoin now is still profitable because you will be doubling or tripling your capital in this bull market. You will be able to cash out at the top and buy back again at the bear market. Just see how these beautiful are in line with each other. We will peak where you see the double peak in 2025 in the blue line and in 2017 but down below in the green line. That will also be when the peak will be there for this orange line now in Bitcoin. We will go up in 2024 and break the previous all-time high, but we will go higher even in 2025, just like we did in 2021 and 2017. And it will be between September and December 2025 that we see that peak. Very interesting chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more. This chart I'm sharing with you guys because I'm going to talk in the trading tip about this. But in this chart, you can see which stable coins are the most popular stable coins at the moment. USDT has the biggest market cap. Then we have USDC and then we have DAI. DAI is the only decentralized one, but I'm going to tell you more about this one later in the video. But it's very interesting to see that the combination of these stable coins are now around 10% of the total market cap in crypto, guys. So very interesting to see. But USDT, USDC and DAI are also the stable coins that I am using in the bear and in the bull market. The last chart for today is this one, as it is a very important chart, as the super trend flashed a buy signal on the monthly chart. If we look back to the previous times that the super trend signal flashed a buy signal, we can see how much profit it made. The first time it made almost 170,000%. The second time it made almost 10,000% profit. The third time, it almost made 4,000% profit. Fourth time, it almost made 1,000% of profit. How much profit is this buy signal going to create this time? Knowing that there will be a massive supply shock, 
because of the spot ETS, because of the retailers want to step into the industry again, because of the miners drying up, selling all their reserve stack of Bitcoins, which I have been telling you for the last couple of days. What kind of result do you expect? Will you expect 1000% or will you expect only 300%? If it is 300% from here, we would be ending up around 120K. Very interesting chart and very powerful signal, as you can see in history. It only happened four times, but all of those times, they were bullish as hell. We saw a huge increase in the price and it just flashed on the monthly. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yeah, they were very simple and very clear. Even that power corridor law, that really interesting to see where Bitcoin could end up between 100,000 and a million US dollar if we zoom out a little bit bigger to all the way of 2032, for example. Uh, that could be a trajectory that Bitcoin could be walking, guys. Short term, a lot of volatility, like I told you guys, but I also told you, I don't believe we will go to 38K again. I believe we will go up first. And what are we doing? We are up first. We are around 45K. Let's go to 46K and maybe even again try to break that 50K level before the halving and then come back. And then around the halving, hover around that 50K somewhere like that guys and then from there yes we will go into a massive supply shock i will keep repeating it and from there yes bitcoin will go up higher and higher and higher simple as that all the way up to the end of 2025 when i think the bear market will start that is the moment we will all be taking our profits sometimes a little bit more profits sometimes a little bit less profits and if i want to take profits in usdc or die i'm going to answer that later in this video now let's quickly jump into the next part the trading tip for today guys i have two trading tips and one announcement the announcement first some people said, Didi, it's not like you to make this attack video to XRP. It was not an attack. I tweeted something about XRP and the XRP army was really confronting me on X. I just made the statement that I think that XRP is a shit coin and the whole army started to attack me. So I felt responsible to make a very clear video why I believe XRP is a shit coin. And that is why I made that extra video yesterday. Also, during this whole time I've been in Bitcoin, so many people keep asking me, should I buy XRP? Should I buy? So every time I need to tell them the same story. Now I can just send them the link of this video and they will understand why I am not investing in XRP. Now let's jump into the first real trading tip. As you all know, the gaming industry is a huge, massive, multi-billion dollar industry. Now there is a new project that I'm investing in, it's called DGI, Decentralized Gaming Income. DGI is a project that has guilds and those guilds are creating revenue for them. It's around 300k revenue every month at the moment. For all of you that don't know what a guild is, a guild is kind of a group of players that play a game collectively to earn money. because. For example, DJI is invested in Play Big Time. Play Big Time is this RFC Web3 NFT game I already invested in the last bull market yeah, and it went really well, that investment, but it's one of the most popular Web3 games at the moment. And DJI has a huge stake in that game because a lot of their guild players are playing that game and earning NFTs and by that making revenue and that revenue will now be shared with all the people that will start to stake DJI. So 50% of that monthly revenue will go back to the stakers of DJI. I believe this whole gaming industry is gonna be a massive driver for this new bull market, at least you know, reach all those young people out there that don't have interest in cryptocurrencies for investment wise, but they just wanna play games and earn some cryptocurrencies by doing so. So DJI is perfectly for people like me that don't have the time to game every day, but still want to make some investment returns because of investing in a project that owns a guild that makes revenue every month. DJI. So that's the first trading tip for today. Take a look at DJI. If you like what they are building, then maybe even add some tokens to your portfolio because you never know how high the token could go if DJI and their gales starts to perform better and better and better in the upcoming years. Let's quickly jump in trading tip number two. Trading tip number two is a question of one of the followers. The question was, Didi, do you prefer USDT, Tether or DAI? Both are stable coins, but both are completely different. 
Of course, I use them both. I also use USDC, so I use a lot of stable coins. But my main preference, of course, is DAI because it's completely decentralized. DAI is a stable coin created by MakerDAO. And it's not using one centralized company to keep that DAI token stable to one dollar. As you know, USDT, for example, is a centralized company that created that stablecoin and that is promising that every stablecoin that they put into the market that is being backed up by real life assets or US dollars or real estate or gold, whatever it should be, the stablecoins that are on the market, the USDT, should be backed by real life assets. That's a centralized way, a centralized company. DAI is a decentralized stablecoin built on Ethereum uh, depending on smart contracts and over collateralized debt. How does DAI work? Uh, we throw in some Ethereum, for example, you, me, or any of your friends, and when you do that, the stablecoin DAI is being created and you receive these DAI tokens. But this is all in an over collateralized way. So there is way more debt than there is DAI. And that's being kept stable because of smart contracts. So whenever people are using their Ethereum or their red Bitcoin as a collateral to get DAI tokens, the DAI Foundation holds that Ethereum, gives DAI tokens, and that keeps the balance of one US dollar. So DAI works in a complete decentralized way. I'm simplifying it now, of course. It's not like the perfect explanation. Go Google it to get really educated. Uh, maybe I will write a blog post about it. It's very interesting. And USDT is a centralized stablecoin. USDT, of course, I need to use a lot of that times because I'm trading and the pair that I trade is always USDT BTC or BTC USDT. And yes, uh, DAI is a stablecoin that I trust when it comes to holding the biggest amount of my stablecoins. So I will use them both. I like them both. There is not a main winner here, but for me, decentralization always goes above centralization. So DAI would then be for me the one that you should be using if you want to store your stablecoins a long time. For example, during the bear market, where you don't need your stablecoins as much as normally, yes, then you could choose DAI above USDT. So that were the two trading tips for today, guys. The travel tip for today, guys, is about hiking. I love to hike in nature in certain countries. Thailand is not the best hiking country because it's really hot over here, really warm, so you keep sweating, it's not like the best way. But for example, in Bulgaria, you have the seven lakes of Rila hike. It's like a four hour hike. It's a beautiful hike that goes uphill through these beautiful sceneries with lakes and beautiful, amazing views. I just get this rest feeling. I just get very chill when I'm hiking. I'm not thinking about all that shit that I need to think about, like working, videos, all that stuff. I'm just enjoying nature, enjoying the sound of the birds, enjoying going into the ice cold water, enjoying all that stuff during this hike. So for me, hiking is this like meditation, form of meditation. Some people do meditation by yoga or just go sleeping on your bed, whatever it is. I love to hike. Walking the beach for me, also meditation. That is when I let go of all the things in my brain and I really get relaxed and I really can enjoy that moment. So for me, walking and hiking are very important to keep the balance in my life. So yeah, my travel tip for the day is, if there is a beautiful hiking path near you, wherever you are, just do it. You will discover new beautiful scenery, amazing views, sometimes amazing restaurants during the way. It's just a really fun way to discover the nature part of a country. Not the city life, not the beach life, but the nature life. Really important, I think, to keep a healthy balance between your mind, body, and soul. So, hiking for me, travel tip for today. Then to answer the question of one of the followers, uh, the question was, Didi, do you own more Bitcoins today than you owned when you went all in? Of course, the answer to this question is yes, I own more Bitcoins today. And then you're like, huh, how is that possible? Because you have been traveling eight years around the world with a family of five, you know, that costs a lot of money. And I see you living the beautiful life and beautiful houses and sometimes even a nice car and all that stuff. So how is that possible that you still have more Bitcoins than them? Because I just very simply understand the four year cycle. At the bull market top, I will be exchanging my Bitcoins into stable coin. When Bitcoin crashes, that will take 12 months. In 2026 this time, it will reach the bear market bottom and I'm buying back my Bitcoins there again. But not the same amount, mostly three times or four times more. In 2017, even more than four times. So 
the amount of Bitcoin that I'm buying back at that bear market bottom is four times the amount I'm selling. And then the Bitcoin price from the bottom starts to increase in price again. So my capital starts to grow even more quickly because I bought more Bitcoins back at the bear market bottom. And that capital growth because of playing that four year cycle, selling at the top, buying back near the bottom, selling near the top, buying back near the bottom. By that, I'm multiplying my Bitcoins. And because the Bitcoin price is going up, 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 I'm also increasing my capital, capital growth. That capital growth is outpacing the amount that we spend every year for living life. We just live a normal minimalistic life. We still don't own houses. I don't own Lamborghinis. I do own a very beautiful ring nowadays. That's the first materialistic thing I bought because it's Bitcoin, peace and anarchy all combined in a ring. I really love to uh, carry out that message and that's why I'm expressing it with things. But the rest, we don't own stuff. We live a beautiful life. Yes, of course, we eat at beautiful restaurants. Yes, of course, we spend Bitcoins to experiences. And I think it's way more important to spend Bitcoins to experiences than to spend it to materialistic stuff. But the amount we're spending on a yearly basis is being outpaced tremendously by that capital growth. So that's the first explanation. That is the game that you need to play. If you are not earning money anymore every day, then you need to have your capital working for you. So make sure your capital is growing faster than you're spending every day. The second thing, I am still working. I am still making YouTube videos. I still have these affiliate links and all that stuff. Of course, we earn a small fee because of you signing up to Bybit by using the links down below this video. Yes, you get a bonus, but we also get a small bonus. So we still have an income coming from that as well and many other stuff as well. So on one hand, we still have an income coming in that we can use to live life. And on the other hand, our capital is growing so fast that it's outpacing the amount that we're spending because we just live a normal life. We don't have those Lambo needs and all the materialistic needs to feel happy. I feel happy with a gifted, embroidered t-shirt from one of my friends. I don't need to wear Louis Vuitton or Gucci or any of those brands to show who I am because I am who I am. It's very simple. So the summary to the answer to the question, one, our capital growth is outpacing the amount we spend. Two, we just make sure there is always an income coming in and use other theater or die or any other currency that we can use to live life as well by using, for example, the Bybit debit card and pay in restaurants or supermarkets or whatever it is, guys. Now, that was the answer to the question. Let's quickly jump into the next part. The news for the day, guys, is about Commonwealth. I read this article on uh, Cointelegraph, and as you all know, I already invested in Commonwealth like one year ago or something. I told you all in the bear market, start to buy these Commonwealth NFTs because they will come in handy in the future. And the news for the day is that Commonwealth is about to launch its first free VC capital fund, which means 99% is now also getting access to these pre-sales pre-investments in new startups. Not the 1% rich people like it used to be. Commonwealth is distributing that wealth into the common normal people. That's why it's called Old Street instead of Wall Street. The 99% will now also get access to these investment funds that normal people don't get access to. These investment funds are normally only there for the 1% rich people of the world. Commonwealth 99% of the people now get access to a free VC capital fund. And by that, invest in all new startups. So the best thing you can do is still buy some NFTs, generation one and two, because by owning these NFTs, you get early access to all these projects, guys, that normal people just don't get access to. So the news for the day is take a look at Commonwealth. I've been talking about it already for over a year. I was one of the first people even mentioning Commonwealth um, all the way back then in YouTube. I told the whole Bitcoin family, hey, I'm investing in this. I know a lot of people invested in Commonwealth and now finally they are coming out with their first free VC fund for the 99%. Of course, it's always important to do your own research, but go and research Commonwealth. That's my tip for today when it comes to the news because they are now in the news. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger, guys. So that was the news for today. And the last part of the video, guys, is the inspirational life lesson. And that life lesson for today is a very simple quote. Silence is the last what people will hear from me. I will never be silenced. I have done my ultimate best to create this voice that I now have in this industry. 
and I will use this voice to express my opinion every day and again and again and again. Of course, also sharing all my knowledge, everything that I experienced in the last eight years of traveling. Of course, I'm sharing all of that in YouTube. But also when it comes to investing, I need to give my honest opinion. Silence is the last thing you will ever hear from me. I am not here to be silenced. That is why I'm putting all my videos also on Rumble nowadays. I'm even thinking about switching completely to Rumble because there is complete free speech. I can talk about whatever I want on Rumble. This weekend, I'm gonna stream from Rumble. And yes, that will be streaming from Rumble and that will be connected to YouTube and X. So I will be streaming on all these platforms combined. I'm gonna test it because there's this new feature in Rumble that I can use to test this weekend. And I'm gonna test it to do my lives, my English one and my Dutch one, because I don't want to be silenced. Silence is the last thing you will hear from me, guys. So yes, also when it comes to that shit coin I was talking about, I won't be silenced. Not by their keyboard, where your army of people living in the basement and texting on Twitter and all that stuff. They won't silence me because I have my opinion. And I also do respect their opinion, I just don't agree with their opinion. So maybe it's better for us to agree to disagree because you won't understand what I'm saying. I won't understand what you're saying. So let's agree to disagree, but I won't be silenced. The people that are following me for quality content, for honest opinions, those people deserve my honest opinion on all these projects out there in this industry because I don't want you to lose capital when it comes to investing. That's why I mainly talk about Bitcoin, because it's just the safest play out there. But let it also be a lesson to you guys out there. Silence should be the last thing the world will hear from you as well. If you don't agree with these diapers on your face, then don't be silenced and speak out. If you don't agree by all these things that you need to put in your arms, then don't be silenced, speak out. If you don't agree with the politicians in your country, then don't be silenced, speak out. If you don't agree with the monetary policy of your country or the world, then withdraw all your funds from that monetary policy and put it in the monetary policy that you believe in. Bitcoin, for example. Then you don't need to speak or shout, but you're also not silenced because you're doing something really powerful and that will silence them <laughs> at the end. So for me, very important quote. Silence is the last thing people will ever hear from me. That was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about all the other content? Thank you for watching. My wife is standing there to ask me if I want the coffee. Yes, I want the coffee. Oh wait, you want my wife in the video? Yeah, my wife is in the video again today. Did you see her? Now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing, weekend it's already friday it's friday already i think it's friday already i wish you an amazing weekend and see you at the lives this weekend uh english on saturday dutch on sunday i'm gonna stream through rumble the whole weekend to try and see how it uh, works and also if it really works and connects with youtube and all that stuff so forgive me if there is some startup issues tomorrow and the day after but i'm trying to do my best to keep my free speech alive and that's not always the case on this platform so i'm going to test these other platforms as well thank you for watching wish you an amazing friday see you tomorrow again Bam.